So, I'm Ben Weinberger and uh, we are Lumus from Israel and we develop an optical engine for the augmented reality market. This is a, a waveguide that uh, we developed together with a projector that we use in the augmented reality and we want to be the like the Intel inside of PCs, we want to be the Lumus inside of augmented reality devices. And uh, I think that our differentiators is the wide field of view. We have the widest field of view today in augmented reality globally, 40 degrees field of view. The small form factor, as you can see, this is thin as regular glasses, and at the same time, very high brightness and very high contra contrast. How much competition is there in your area? There are a few companies that are uh, doing similar things, but not at this level. We exist for 15 years. We delivered uh, over a thousand systems to US Air Force, so we have today um, you know, military grade system uh, flying in the uh, A-10 uh, you know, uh, uh, above Afghanistan and Pakistan and so on and so forth. And then we, while other companies working to upgrade their systems, we're working to downgrade our systems to meet, you know, cost and, uh, and, and uh, specification of enterprise and consumer markets. Are you the founder? I'm not the founder, I'm the CEO of the company. The CEO? Yeah. Is, is, is it a venture-based company? It's an investment of individuals and venture capital. I see. And it's called Lumus, huh? Lumus, yeah. Now, are these guys... Are you guys native Israeli Sabras or what? No, I can't say that I am. I'm not fortunate enough, but um, I made Aliyah uh, about 10 years ago. What's your name? David Goldman. David, where are you from? Los Angeles, California. And are, are you an engineer? I'm not an engineer. I actually do marketing for the company. I'm the head of marketing. Oh, wow. That's great. That's great. And how about uh, Ari? I'm Ari Grobman from Los Angeles originally. Really? You're the no only, connection to Dave. You're the only two guys who made Aliyah from LA, huh? Um, there are a couple. There are a couple. Not as big as New York, for sure. You're going to stand together. There's a small oh, sure, lens sure, sure. there. This yeah. is our DK4. But the weather's model. pretty similar, so any other LA people out there, don't, don't worry about the weather. It's, it's, it's good. Uh, are you guys both from? Yep. Yes. Shomer Shabbos? Absolutely. Shomer Shabbos. You don't turn on electricity on the weekend? Nope. I mean, on. We got you a don't. Shabbos clock. Nope. But, <laughs> but electronics are your life, isn't that right? Electronics, pretty much, you know, high tech in general. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in technology since uh, 97. So, but yes, Shomer Shabbat, and uh, we won't be here on Saturday, personally. So, from Sunday, <laughs> from, from Motzei Shabbos until Erev Shabbos, you guys are obsessed with electronics, but what comes sundown, what happens? Turn that's, it off. That's literally true. But we have a digital diet on that day. You disconnect. Could say. A disconnect, which I think actually recharges us. No <laughs> looking down at phones, no looking at anything. Right. Pay no attention emails. to kids, pay attention to your wife. It's a good thing. For a day. For a day. Recommend it to everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much.